Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on the PS4. The game is also available on the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is a first person shooter developed by Infinity Ward. The game is set in a fantasy future where some of the human race left Earth to settle in other parts of the universe. During this period, two groups emerge and you play as Captain Nick Reyes, who is on the side of the supposed good guys as you do special operations on land and in space. As well as the campaign, you have a zombies mode and all the usual multiplayer options you'd expect from a COD game. So, what is the game like to play? Well, it's COD, but not as you know it. It's basically COD in space. Forget World War II, Modern Warfare or Black Ops, this is more like Titanfall or Halo in terms of its sci-fi theme. Your character is equipped with a jetpack, grappling hook for low gravity sections and you can even run against walls just like in Titanfall. There are traditional weapons mixed in with energy based ones but the new sci-fi guns are awesome. You also have a gadget that allows you to hack enemy robots and turn them on your enemies. The game features space battles which are well handled but do become a little bit of a chore. You'll be visiting different planets, asteroid fields, space satellites. And as the game progresses, you gain control of Retribution, a hub which lets you select missions and do side quests to obtain cosmetic and other items. The Zombies mode can be played solo or online with other players. Now this mode is pretty bizarre as it's based on lots of retro movie sets, which to be honest has almost nothing to do with COD or the new sci-fi theme. It's a very weird choice and it just doesn't suit the game and ultimately this mode is instantly forgettable and mediocre. It's more like something you would expect in a Dead Rising game than COD. The multiplayer options are as comprehensive as you would expect with modes like Team Deathmatch, Domination, Infected and Ground War. But unfortunately the maps are pretty poor and the sci-fi vibes don't really add anything to the multiplayer. And it just feels weird seeing COD players fly around in jetpacks. So the one thing that keeps players coming back to COD, the multiplayer, is actually compromised by the direction of the game. Graphically though, it's one of the best looking COD games that I've ever played. The developers must have really pulled out all the stops because they've been probably bored of doing all of the earth based ones so this was a game where they really could just go to town and they did. The sound, music and voice acting are all very good and it's high standard that we would expect from the series and the game also features a lot of famous actors with cameos by other well known stars as well. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The game looks and sounds amazing, some of the campaign missions are exhilarating and the space battles are pretty well handled. What's bad? The sci-fi direction just doesn't feel like COD. The zombies mode is a confused mess that's trying too hard to be cool and the multiplayer maps aren't great which kind of limits the replay value. So what's the verdict? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand it's got an interesting campaign with some standout missions but on the other hand the zombies mode is poorly thought out, the multiplayer just doesn't feel right and overall the sci-fi direction is a misstep. This game feels like any generic sci-fi shooter and there are other games in this genre like Titanfall and Halo that just do this stuff way better. COD it's at its best with modern boots on the ground combat not as a first person Star Wars experience. Saying that I did enjoy it in particular the city invasion mission in the campaign but on the whole it was a just a bit disappointing. So is it worth trying? Yes I'd say there is something to be said for the campaign but the zombies mode no absolutely not and the multiplayer you know it just doesn't stand up when compared to the other games in the series really. So my score for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is 7.25 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.